Hey everyone. Hello. So today we're actually not talking about social media. We're talking about the Global Referral Network. <laughs> um, some of you guys probably know that already, but just, just a reminder of the process if you have a referral. Um, so if you have a client that wants to buy a house in Florida, we can find you an agent and set that all up for you. Rachel can kind of talk through the process. Awesome. <laughs> So what happens if you need to find someone who we can't cover an area for? Um, we have a global referral network that can refer you to or refer your client to an agent anywhere in, around the world that we have an office. So if you need a referral, you email help and we'll send you a list of agents and you uh, contact them and then from there you just tell us what agent you chose, and then we'll take care of it. You go, you would take care of the rest of the process on Global Referral Network, and that's essentially it. It's pretty easy. Yeah, you guys don't really have access to the Global Referral Network, though. It's We only have it set to managerial access, so the help desk kind of controls it. But we keep you updated on everything that's going on. Um, the other agent has is required to update the referral every 30 days. Um, uh, we can also sign the contract through the Global Referral Network, so you don't really need to go and do a whole referral agreement and all that stuff and send it out, because um, we can handle all of that through the network. What you need to send to the help desk, though, is your client's information, where they're looking to buy, sell, or list. Um, and any other information you want to add in there, but th that's the main bulk that we need to be able to help you find an agent. Um, yeah, so that's what you have to send to us. We'll we'll keep you updated throughout the whole process too, um, even all the way to closing. They have to update the network, so it's good a good way to keep in touch. I think Ami's closed one in the Global Referral Network, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. a couple. Yeah. It's super easy, yeah. And we basically do everything for you. So you don't need to like go into the network and you know, do all that stuff. So Right, exactly. If you want to change the referral fee to um, I mean twenty five percent is standard, but if you wanna do something else we can we have the ability to change it in the network also. Um, and this is for Century 21 all over the world. So I think one time I sent out a referral for someone in Peru. So yeah, anything, yeah. Um, so you said you'll get a list. I know when I've done it before, I've only just gotten one person back. Okay. Should I get a list or should I just have one? We'll send you three, I think. Yeah, three. three. Mm -hmm. And then rentals. I was someone that's looking for a rental somewhere. Yep, we can put that through there too. Mm hmm. Yeah. More of like a courtesy to the other agent. How, how like, ready do those buyers need to be? Like, at what phase of the process? We can set the date to be zero to 90 days, um, 90 to, like, we can set it out okay. for as long as you want. Um, yeah. They're, they're looking both here and in Alabama. Mm. And I, wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna get a referral for somebody that didn't know was coming. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. I mean, you can set it out for as long as you want. Um, even just to find one to keep in touch with, too, about it would be good. Okay. Just in, as a just in case, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's super easy to use. So. Do you mind if I add something in? Yeah. Just to to kind of twist this back on you from the agent perspective, this is a great perspective from how to how to go about doing it. Now that you've got three names, now what do you do? Well, you want to stay sticky with your client, and at the same time, you want to be professional to where you're actually vetting that the, the agent that you're going to refer them to. You would never just go, okay, here's three names, go. You actually want to pick up the phone, call those three agents, and you explain who your client is, what they're after, what their family situation is. You know, introduce them, get a feel for that. Vet the agent, get an idea of their experience level. Hey, how many of you done in this price point? How many of you done in this area? 
how familiar are you with the, the XYZ area that my client is interested in? And then you're doing a warm handoff instead of just a, here's a random individual, okay? Yeah, for sure. I to that, I love checking their social media because I feel like <laughs> I would check their social media, I would check their website, I would check their reviews and all that because there was an instance where the virus was like, the picture that I saw in the person was different, so the buyer was kind of like, oh, um, it's this person, so I understood I really need to have a relationship with that agent through that process because even though you refer it, the person still count on you and sometimes they will come to you and ask you, well, I can't hear from my agent and things like that, so yep. definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's why I give you three options too, so you can basically interview the three of them and then choose whichever one you want. And if they're not doing their job, they can be reassigned. Yeah, yeah. we can reassign. <laughs> and Mike usually knows the other broker too, so oh. if you have any issues, you can, yeah, talk to him about it too. <laughs> any other questions? So what does it look like on the reverse if somebody from somewhere else is looking through the broker? That's a good question. And so it's yeah. Guys, right here. Right. <laughs> that, that's where I'm going. Like yeah. Somebody moving from Peru here is looking mm -hmm. for an agent. Like, what is that process? Um, so if, okay, if they do it through the network, it automatically gets sent to Mike and Dwayne, and then they assign the referral. If you have one coming in through the network that you know about, um, let either the help desk or Mike or Dwayne know, um, so that we'll assign it to you. If you're like, oh, I know someone in Peru sending me a referral through the network, because that's where you can send the contract through. Um, you can do it like that, but that's this is only since you're 21 offices, so just keep that in mind. Understood. Yeah, if you do have a referral with another office or brand, um, you can just send that information to the help desk, and Christina will write you up a referral agreement. Okay. So, we also we do that too. To to be to be fair, we 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 as a brokerage have received recognition. Um, globally across C21 for our utilization of the global referral network. We're referring a lot of people out to be, to be per perfectly candid. Fewer people than that are referring stuff to us. So that's why we're, we're trying to be a prolific user of this program and we want others to do the same. Right now it's maybe a little bit, not one-sided, but it's way heavily weighted towards yeah. the outbound side from our perspective. But the inbound side is definitely an opportunity for, for growth. Yeah, the network gives them seven days to respond to a referral, but we give them 24 hours, and then it's reassigned, because, yeah. And so. there's also a group on Workplace. So mm -hmm. There's multiple yeah, groups. Yeah, people will post there that they're looking yeah. for referrals. <coughs> yes. Editorial comment, can I just, uh, I'll just throw this in there. Use the referral network before you just do a broadcast statement on, on the global referral network webpage, because yes. then it's just kind of like going, Anybody out there? Right. Uh, the Global Referral Network gives you a, a selected audience and somebody that you can vet. Yeah. Um, if you just throw it out there, you're taking the random first come, first served of who actually saw that and responded. Mm -hmm. That's not a good way to refer business to somebody. And you get bombarded. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. For sure. Any and other the, questions? Oh, I was going to say in the list of agents that I send you, have. I research them and then I, they're the ones with the most reviews, like the best reviews on the Global Referral Network. So you are already choosing from people who have reviews um, and have clients that they've dealt with. So. Good. Cool. Yay. Thanks.